Today I'd like to do a short video on a few things that can make spray painting your door jams a little bit easier. The first thing I like to do is cover the opening, make sure I don't get any overspray or dust inside. The next thing is to wipe down the door jam with either wax and grease remover or I like to use thinner because I feel that it softens the old paint and makes it much easier to scuff it with these red scuff pads. Finally, a few tools I like to use is a palm sander with 220 for the large areas, a mini DA sander that I picked up from Harbor Freight with 220 on it for the tight spots, and lastly, the red scuff pad. So let me get the camera set up in a different position, mix, some, mix up some paint, and we'll throw a few coats of paint on this and see what it looks like. When spraying door jams, you can turn the pressure down and you can focus your spray to a little bit more of a point. So it doesn't have to be a super wide point. And that way, with the lower pressure, with the lower pressure, you're not getting overspray all over. So this will be the first coat, and it's just going to be a tack coat, very light. And that's good for the first coat. One thing I'd like to point out before the second coat is that I always scuff further than where I'm going to paint. So if I'm going to be painting up to about here, I'm going to be scuffing up to here. Now, you will have a little bit of light scratches, and if you're worried about that, you can use the gray scuff pad, or you can paint the whole door jam. But you, with this method, you can sort of blend it in and you'll never notice. And this will be the second coat, and this will be a medium to wet coat. And I'm going to try to stay out of the way so you can see what's happening. things that can help you when you're spray painting your door jams is to adjust your fan to a narrow pattern that way you'll be a lot more accurate another thing is to decrease the air pressure to eliminate overspray 
in unwanted places. And finally, you can adjust your fluid control so that there's less fluid coming out and you'll get less runs. So let me give it one more coat, then I'll give you a few, a few shots from different angles to see what it looks like. This video on painting door jams helped you out in some way and if it did and you'd like to get my latest videos don't forget to hit the subscribe button